Hey NYCS, my name is Louise Gandelman and I'm your co-director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And unfortunately, I could not be there today for the Miami Youth Climate Summit. And the reason why is because I'm several thousand miles away in Israel. Now, as much as I love being here, it is pretty sad that I don't get to be there in person for the summit. I was able to, however, talk a little bit about this place where I'm at right now and introduce someone who lives here. So the place where I'm at right now is called a kibbutz. Specifically, this one is called Kibbutz Ketora. Now, Kibbutz Ketora and all the other kibbutzim, as they're called, are communal living places where everyone works together for the greater good of the community. So different kibbutzim do different things. This kibbutz focuses primarily on dates and algae production, which is pretty cool, as well as solar power. We'll get right into that. But some kibbutzim work with dairy, some of them with livestock, and it's just really varied. I was able to interview a member of this kibbutz, Leah, who is actually American and has been living here for a really long time. And she's going to talk a little bit more about what this kibbutz specifically does to help out the environment. Hi everyone, Shalom from Kibbutz Ketura in the southern Arava, the very southernmost part of Israel. I'm a member of a kibbutz, the, this kibbutz. I've lived here for 46 years. A kibbutz is a communal, uh, uh, a collective community in which everything that we uh, see here, that you could see here, belongs to all of us, all of the 180 members of our kibbutz. Um, this kibbutz is fairly special. Uh, we live in, we're in the middle of the desert and we're committed to developing a lot of uh, uh, projects that are involved with the human relationship to the environment and to climate change and to trying to find sustainable uh, solutions to some of the environmental problems in the Middle East. In front of, uh, just over here, is a vi village that's called an off-grid village. There are three huts that are off, all built entirely out of renewed uh, leftovers, basically. They're mud buildings, they're uh, powered by so very, some of them very uh, simple solar energy. You can see some glass bottles here on the roof of this, this thatched hut. And basically there's water inside these bottles. And when you go inside, you can see that it provides uh, light, sunlight uh, for, for, in, for the inside. We also have solar panels on all of our um, all of our roofs, and over here, in the distance, you can see the first solar panel field in the state of Israel, developed by a company that we are part owners of, called the Arava Power Company. Um, here, you can see part of how we can uh, provide uh, gas for cooking is through this composter here. This is a home biogas. This is a, a company also that was founded by. Uh, someone who was a member of our kibbutz. And we're also the home of the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies, which is an academic program and a research institute, which has a third students from, they come from abroad, a third Israeli Jewish students, and a third students who are Arab students, either from the Palestinian Authority or Israeli Arabs or Jordanians, or we have a Moroccan this semester, and all study together to try and again, try to find some solutions to some of the environmental issues uh, of the Middle East. So um, I want to wish you all um, good luck in exploring more of uh, ventures that are trying to help solve some of the serious problems that we have of the environment in the world. And we're doing our little part here on Kibbutz Ketura. As Leah mentioned, this is the first solar power grid on the entire state of Israel. Now, not only that, but it's also one of the biggest ones. It powers one third of the city of Eilat, which is the biggest city in Israel's southern district. So one third of that city's entire electricity comes from this solar power grid right here in front of me. I'm here in what Leah mentioned was the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies. So it's actually right here and there are offices, classrooms, and there's also Center for Sustainable Agriculture, Renewable Energy Park, and a Dead Sea Science Center, all of which can be found around here, which is also where the off-grid village where Leia showed you guys earlier is, as well as the solar power, the solar panels that Leia mentioned as well. As well, you can see these buildings and almost every other building on this kibbutz are solar powered. 
and over there you can see horses and people playing soccer and you can see that this place is only taking care of the environment it's also a full functioning living community and it shows that you know it doesn't compromise our lifestyles to live for, for the environment because these people are taking full care of the environment and still living their best lives so this just motivates us and it shows us that taking care of the environment is possible and it's an effort that everyone can pitch in even if it means just making your little community go green